Hi everyone, there's LAR Games, and today I'm watching the first episode of Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. Uh, man, I'm super excited about this. Ever since I saw that first kind of unexpected and, you know, unexpected in a very pleasant way, first, or <laughs> episode zero of this season, uh, I've been super excited for this. Obviously, this isn't going to be completely blind since I've actually played the game and do know what happens, you know, in terms of plot details. Uh, but, you know, this is still going to be blind in that this is my first time seeing these characters animated, seeing the things that they've done, like, physically, instead of just reading text and seeing kind of just very static images that don't change much. So... I'm going to be very surprised in a lot of aspects of this and probably a whole lot more excited than <laughs> people who, uh, who don't know anything about this. So, um, knowing that if you still want to watch, that's, that's great. Uh, I can't say I would do the same thing because I prefer things, uh, you know, I prefer watching reactions to things completely blind. Not blind to the react. Well, yeah, blind to the reactions, but the people watching was. All right, I'm just. Gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna move on. All right, uh, <laughs> episode one. Finally, gonna get some Babylonia stuff. Uh, it's been a while since I've done the storyline too, so I, I probably don't remember a lot of details. I just remember that Ishtar is the best thing ever. So. <laughs> uh, It's really weird that Camelot is coming up after this. So weird. I actually watched um, like two reactions already to both Fate, Grand Order, First Order, which I think I've yet to re-upload to this new channel. And the uh, episode zero of Babylonia. And I gotta say, uh, watching them again, because I already reacted to the first episode of Babylonia, or the episode zero of Babylonia, um, watching it again actually made me react much more strongly to it. Probably because I didn't have to kind of like focus on also commenting on what's going on and stuff. Uh, but yeah, there were tears <laughs> the second time. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen this time. But what I know for sure is that I absolutely love this game and its story, so I'm going to have a very good time with it, as long as I don't mess it up, which I doubt they will. So, with all that said, let's just get started. That water looks very interesting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I, I was almost thinking, who is that? Because the, the hair looked kind of blonde, but it's green hair, so we know who that is. I can't say I feel too bad for him because I don't like him at all, even in this chapter. He comes close to being likable, but for me, he's just one of the most unlikable characters. So I guess it's starting right with him, huh? This place looks a lot more epic than the game made it seem. Just everything seems more epic than the game made it seem. Because they certainly do limit themselves when it comes to backgrounds and characters, or at least character models. So you can't really grasp the full scale of everything. Yep, he knows, uh, he knows he's coming. Or if you're playing the game, he knows you're coming. <laughs> So 
These are interesting visuals. This kind of feels similar to how the water felt. Like, kind of 3D, but very stylized. Oh man, seeing Chaldea and it's like full glory is so satisfying. That's adorable. God, I love you, Mesh. <laughs> So this is just pretty much right after uh, Camelot, which once again hasn't come out yet. As always... I, it feels really awesome to see this referenced when you're a player, but at the same time, if you're watching this for the first time, this is pretty much spoilers for those singularities. So I'm very conflicted on that. Quite the entrance, Leonardo. <laughs> it's always tougher. They were using 3D again, but again, it has, it's actually really good looking 3D. Like the... The landscape was pretty detailed. Usually they use like a flat 3D plane and like very low resolution textures. This uh, rendition of Chaldea does seem a little bit less large in scale compared to the one in Fate Grand Order, First Order. I remember even in the last episode, Episode Zero, when they showed the, uh, the rock that was mashing mash. <laughs> it was a lot smaller as well. For some reason, in this season, they put that outfit on MASH, like in, in, the, in the coffin room. You don't see that in the game.
Oh man, I'm so excited to see characters in this. She sounds like Megumi in there. Oh, well, that's already a spoiler for the rest of the... <laughs> oh, man. Now, when people watch the movie, is this... Uh, this isn't going to be that much a surprise. That's so disappointing. I'm, I'm just hoping that one day when people react to this and... Well, I hope people are still reacting to this in the future. Um... The movie's already going to be out, so you're going to watch. They're going to watch this after Camelot. So they're they're showing off the non default mystic code. They're kind of showing that or explaining that he can regenerate his uh, command spells. One of the reasons is probably like the strongest. Master. Oh, those don't look very good. Actually, that doesn't look that bad. Close up. The enemies, by the time you get here, are very difficult to fight. At least for me. Did he use a command spell? This early on? <laughs> Dang it, Aqua! I mean, Ishtar. Ishtar's beauty is only matched by her uselessness.
Yo, it's like... You touched him, not the other way around. You were the accelerating force. I can't wait to see Best Girl, but she's not going to appear for a long time. When I uh, started playing the Singularity, I actually thought I wasn't going to like uh, Ishtar considering what people said about her, but her personality is pretty fun. Mm-hmm. That's a very Rin like move. Wow, all right. <laughs> Back to her starting point. Pretty elegant. Should have brought some servants along, huh? You got a lot of them. Probably. I'm assuming this version is much luckier than me and the gotcha. <laughs> He's probably summoned way more than I have. The ones in the background just don't look good at all. They only start looking good once they get close. That's a nice non-use of 3D. Also, I really like how they're so, uh... graphic with the with the defeat of the monsters i wish i wish the regular game had that kind of mechanic where they just fall apart into chunks that'd be awesome look at that that's like they should do better death animations like that in the game that'd be amazing they just fade away in the game
See, that is some good-looking 3D landscape right there. They weren't. They didn't skimp on that. But sometimes things look weird, like that waterfall. The water looks nice, but it kind of looks out of place. Well, people who just saw Fate Grand Order First Order would probably remember that. Once again, that is really good looking. That's, yeah. Oh, no, really? Well, I'm going to see if there's anything after. There is indeed. A... It's a character I could never get. Well, this was a fantastic start. It was done really well, and I'm super excited for the rest. Now, this is how you start an adaptation. Are you listening, Ari Ferretta? Anyway, um, yeah, really good. I'm obviously not going to make any predictions or anything because I already know what happens. <laughs> Uh, so the best I could do was just comment on how they're doing things and just kind of reminisce. But, if you have watched this long, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.